Hey, good evening, everybody. It's uh, Thursday. Um, I think it's about 10 o'clock, and I'm at the hotel. I just got a shower, man. I got to tell you, it felt good. I mean, wow. Uh, I didn't want to get out, and right now I'm looking at a pool that I want to dive into, but um, uh, I guess I'm going to have to wait a little while. Um, let's get on with some business. You know, I realize there's a lot of things that kind of fell by the wayside, um, like the bicycle that I have stashed in the woods out on the east side. Um, don't think I forgot about that. It's just not been on the radar. Um, Saturday, having to go back to uh, the plasma center, hoping that, you know, I'll get through the screening and get another 50 bucks. Uh, I think I have $12 left um, out of the first 50, and it goes quick. Um, I had to pay for two meals today, which I don't mind. They were good meals, and it was well worth it. I have to tell you, my nutrition was getting so bad. Um, you know, regardless of what you think, uh, I had to have those meals. And, and I'm not justifying it. They were good, and I would have done it whether the nutritional value was there or not because I needed to feel human, but I also need definitely needed the nutrition. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm finding myself being really low on energy uh, today and yesterday. A lot of that is my foot really bothered me. The other thing is I think I really am uh, dehydrated. I know I took a picture of the scale at Publix today instead of me just telling you my weight. I'm going to post that in a few minutes um, just so that as I go through the next week I'll take pictures of the scale instead of telling you my weight so you can see. Um, and not only is it just that I'm losing a lot of weight? I mean, I, a lot of pounds, you know, almost a pound a day, not quite that, but almost. And so I don't think that's too healthy. The other thing is I've, I've been um, not eating very well and you know the number of miles I've been walking and you add to all that that I'm 53 and I'm sleeping on concrete and I don't need to tell any of you 50 year olds uh, what I feel like constantly. And um, what amazes me is I'm sitting here trying to say, is is doing 30 days even an accomplishment? Because it really isn't. You know, oh, poor Tom's feet, but I'm only out here for 30 days. You know, oh, poor Tom has to sleep on concrete for a month. What about these guys that have been out here years without help? I mean years. You know, uh, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm getting a little ticked off about uh, what we do to these people. Because the more I find, the, the I don't want to say I'm angry, but gosh, am I... I'm really disappointed, I'm frustrated, and, and, and I, I, I don't even know how to express to you how it feels when I meet one of these people and get to know them. I mean, I literally have a minimum of 50 uh, homeless friends that I know by name, uh, that know who I am, that we converse, that we share resources, and that we, you know, kind, I'll say kind of very little look out for each other. It's just the way that the community is. So um, I don't really have a lot extra tonight. I can tell you that I've been doing a ton of research on a lot of issues. Um, the blue box issue is number one forefront in my mind. I'm going to highlight a few more of those tomorrow and show you just how ridiculous these things are. Um, if I have my way, they'll be painted over and, um, and, and done away with. Uh, and if, if that happens, then the reason that's going to happen is because the homeless don't need to panhandle anymore because we've taken care of them. And that's what I mean. I don't mean just paint over the blue boxes in the situation we're in. Literally, it doesn't do anything for them except give them one small avenue to maybe subsist for another day. You're not going to make a lot of money doing it. So, um, I'm going to say goodnight tonight. Got a lot of work to do. And um, tomorrow we've got a busy day, so uh, make sure that you watch the videos for tomorrow. Have a good night. Team Roke is rocking.